19th of September at 2023. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and turn on the notification bell. So guys, here's the latest 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 news. So not so Jamisa, leader of the citizens coalition for change triple C has defended his long-standing news of the hashtag God is in it in his campaign for the presidency. Shamisa expressed his belief that God will visit Zimbabwe and display his power and strength. In a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, the former ICT minister urged fellow citizens to trust in the faith he was dear. Shamisa said that God is never let him down and will show himself madly in Zimbabwe. He said, Fellow citizens, trust this hashtag God is in it, I believe in. Let them not mock you. He has never let me down before. He will surely visit Zimbabwe. He will show himself mighty and strong. He will love it. He's always on time. Ignore this manly and sharp side shows. Don't say I didn't tell you. Be happy, Zimbabwe. Isaiah 33, verse 22. Hashtag one people. Nusun Chamisa's remarks came in response to criticism, including from Zimbabwean preacher Apostle Talenti Wenga who accused him of using God's name in vain and failing to balance faith and action. Chiwenga argued that if God truly supported Chamisa, he would not have lost the 2018 and 2023 presidential elections to President Emazum Nangagwa. Chamisa alleged that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission SEC collided with the ruling NPF party to manipulate the election results in favor of Nangagwa. Chiwenga is a strong critic of the NPF government particularly his relative vice president Constantino Chiwenga made predictions before the 2018 elections suggesting that the political landscape would remain unchanged. He said that there would be an unpopular leader before a youthful one took office following the departure of Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe's founding leader. Many people interpreted the prophecies to mean that Chamisa would become president after Mnangagwa's first term. However, Chiwenga argues that Chamisa claims of winning the 2018 and 2023 elections go against God prophecy which said that there would be no change in Zimbabwe's governing system at least for the time being. Religion plays a significant role in Zimbabwean politics with various interpretations and beliefs influencing public discourse and the perceptions of political leaders. Chamisa would decline to accept the 2023 presidential election results and reached out to the Southern African Development Community SADC. To request their intervention in advocating for new elections in Zimbabwe. He proposed that the elections be overseen by impartial organizations such as SADC, the African Union and the United Nations rather than the perceived biased Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC. However, some believe that it may be too late for such action considering that members of parliament including Triple C MPs were recently sworn in. Nangagwa, the incumbent president, he had already taken his oath of office on September 4, 2023. So, guys, that's the latest here. And yes, I got it. I remember when I say, remember, in I you believe when I marry with Iowa, marry with Chawoya, which is Sunungura, Maravari Kogudenga, Marin Vatuna Mat. I mean, that's um his belief. And I think uh, we need to respect his, his belief. And I think that is when he. Remember, with the situation in Zimbabwe, as the moon one, you could chance at the beginning, Gango, Mira E, Aniga, yes, and the Gango Mira E, Iowa. The situation you could taste it, we're supposed to be contributing something. And remember, it's not just an We can't just fold our hands and wait for what I miss a good better action to Mare Agnapo and what I miss a Kwanse Kuburuka, Kwanse to Sunungura, Iowa. Tessa Tagana Mada Tessa, I think it's no farmer. Saka. Even I will meet Ramon, dance moon, yeah, and I know that it's doing a ass to come grab me by the twenty, um, Zimbabwe for forty plus years. Reason why is because that I'm going to meet Ramon, and I know I'm not twenty eight, I know I'm not twenty eighteen, I know I'm not two thousand three, I know I'm not two thousand eight. I mean, tell you what, meet Ramon one year. That's why I'm so not social media. Some always go in in Jamisa's comment section, they're always bashing him. And I go to go say, Mungo post my face to the TP signal. What signal do you need? You are a Zimbabwean also. A between you 
in Jamisa. You can start your own political party. You can go in the streets. You can urge people to go in the streets. You can do whatever you want to do because test it in my rights. There's no way, there's no need. He could do mutuke with hands, he this, he that, as Kufamba, he was over. Can one of those Kufamba? Munugango for all political party like a Tango camp, you know, I mean, for you. Who have some rights? And yes. Can one marry with Sapati, register party, who wins them in elections? And it's okay, I still think that uh, waiting for someone else to take action will be a waste of time because Munye Anagashto. So guys, the morning rang personally, I think bashing him because of versus by social media is not gonna help the situation. He's trying his best. I think that we all need to do something. We all need to contribute. Even if you don't buy Berajo. One was my contributor into something. I That's why this one could but you know, it was a collective effort for freedom. So guys, this is weekly news roundup. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Please. Thank you.